Hi guys and welcome back to or welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I'm doing my Shop My Stash video. I upload these every single Tuesday. We're starting off in my eyeshadow palette drawer. So I need to put this one up. Last week I pulled the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Now I'll go through the looks and then I wanted to compare it to a palette. So, the first day, I used this Rich Girl shade all over the lid. I was in a hurry, go figure, and I used So Bougie. I might have used that darker um, brown matte shade up there. I'll put that look on the screen. I think where I messed up is I used Rich Girl first, and that is such a stunning color. Not just for inner corner, but like to add a little topper over. I mean, I used Rich Girl like basically every day after that. So the next look I used, um, I did, I think I did this Holla for a dollar. Oh no, that's a lame name. Um, I used this shade over here, um, and I used, I think, uh, Coco Truffle. I'll put that look on the screen. I liked it, but it kind of reminded me of the look I got on Halloween where I put the Gold Digger um, Stila shadow on top of a black shadow, and I think that it looks so similar that I was disappointed because I would have rather just had that other look. You know what I mean? Now, the next day, um, so I was going color, right? I was like, okay, let's see what this palette has to offer. So I remember that I used like these two shades and I forget the other combination. I think I put Rich Girl on top of both of them. But I will tell you, man, like, I put Fix Plus. I normally use Fix Plus on any, like, metallic or shimmer shades. And I don't know if it was that or what it was, but, like, the color was not vibrant. Like, the color seemed to fade away, kind of like a puddle. I'll put that look on the screen if you could see that. Like, you see what I'm talking about? Like, it just looks like... And that's after a lot of work, man. Like, I really worked on that. And um, I got somewhere... But I feel like I've had that exact same look, but like better and amplified with another palette that I'll compare it to here in a second. Now, the one next to final day, I did dripping diamonds all over the lid. And that is just a really cool color, man. It's like a silver, but icy blue at the same time. And then I was like, so I just did that with like these brown colors. And then I was like, let's deepen that. So I did the same thing essentially, except to put Rich Girl in the inner corner, dripping diamonds, and then the black shade. The black shade took work. I'll put that look on the screen. But once we got there, it was stunning. When I say the black shade took work, I mean, it was like three layers going back over after blending, going back over after applying the um, dripping diamonds color. But man... I did like this palette. I liked this palette when it had its own moments. But, like, let me pull this other palette. I remember people saying if you didn't get this gingerbread Too Faced palette and you had that palette, you would be fine. So, let's compare. Okay, like, I see the similarities. Do you all see that? Yeah, they're very similar, actually. But I feel like there's enough differences where, like, I don't regret this one be just because of that Rich Girl shade and that uh, Griffin and Diamond shade, which sounds bad to just keep a palette for, like, two shades. But, hey, you know, we all have our problems, right? First world problems there. This week, I want to pull this palette. So, this is the Des Dose of Colors Desi Katie Frankation palette. I've only used this one other time. I used it for a week. Now, some of the looks that I got, like, I really liked. But I remember it took a lot of work to get there. And I know, like, I'm the unpopular opinion. This one was a lot of people's, like, favorite palette of last year. I want to try that blue shade. And I think it's, like, going to take some work, but it'll be all right for Thanksgiving, too. So I'm going to pull this one. And that's all for this. Okay, so up here with the new drawer. So last week I pulled that palette that we already pulled, put back. And I pulled this little sample of the Amazonian Clay um, foundation. That's a heavy foundation, man. I don't know if I would repurchase that, but I needed it to lighten up my foundation because I had a very dark foundation. So I don't think that I've thought about this. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to pull. I know I talk about I have Invisalign. But I watch Lyra here on YouTube, and she also has Invisalign, and I see her using regular lipsticks. So I'm going to give this Jeffree Star lippy that I got in the Halloween mystery box in brown sugar. Oh, I'm scared and excited. 
at the same time. Like, just look at this packaging. Like, I really hope that I don't pull this. I've never used a Jeffree Star, like, other than a liquid lip from his. So, I don't, I hope they don't pull this and my Invisalign, like, turn me off of these. But we're going to give her a try. We're going to give her a try. We're being open-minded. And then, also, I want to pull this. I don't have one. Like, how am I a YouTuber and I don't have a clear brow gel? <laughs> but it's the Anastasia clear brow gel um I got this for free as a point perk so I want to use that this week and that's all for this drawer this is my everything face it is in a blush bronzer highlight contour so last week for foundation I normally am like strict on only using project not project pan I'm definitely not that <laughs> I'm the opposite of that but I'm normally strict about only using shop my stash products um and not pulling anything else so I had this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Man, this is a heavy one. Like, if it wasn't for me having that primer in, I don't know if I would have been able to use this, and I have oily skin. But I did use up all of that um, Amazonian clay sample, and I was it was just way too dark. So I had to come and pull this CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless, not because I love it, but because it's the lightest foundation, and these two together were not. Let's just say I'm glad to be back in here. And you know, like, I know you're probably tired of me pulling this one. Everyone's like, no, not the Red One Color today. But it's Thanksgiving. And it's, like I said, I really do stick to the products that I pull. So we're going <laughs> to, I just need, after last week, I just need her. I need the Red One Color Stay for the Thanksgiving family photos. Yes, like, the skin's going to look good. So we're going to pull that one. I just need to put up my... Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I use this as a primer. Some people use it as a moisturizer. Um, I like using this with he like very matte foundations or very cakey foundations like that one. It just works amazingly with it. And it feels so good when you put it on your skin. I apply it with a beauty blender. But you know. You already know what I'm pulling. This is a Project Pan item. Look, I'm doing really good. I might use it all up this week. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I don't like this, but that foundation is very carefree and you can do whatever with it. So I need to use it up. I'm going to use it up with that. And I'm going to keep in, I'm hesitant to say this because the last two days I did not use this. These two products together, I think combined with like the Simply Ageless and the Kat Von D, which are very heavy. Like these two do not work well for concealer. Like they creased really heavy and this is really dark, but I needed it. I don't know. It was just bad. So I'm going to put this one up. I'm going to keep this one in the Becca Brightening because it is in a 6 by Santa project pan. And I'm going to use it with the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I, I don't know. Like I'm not a huge fan of this concealer, but the two together work amazingly for some reason. So yeah, I want to pull those two products and I am always keep in my Rimmel Stay Matte for touch-ups so of course I'm going to be using that on Thanksgiving and I'm going to put up my Cover FX the perfect setting powder she's becoming my favorite she's becoming the perfect setting powder <laughs> but I'm going to pull this Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal setting powder because she's not the perfect powder but like I said before the Revlon color stay is good with whatever so I need to use this with that or I'm never gonna be able to use it so yeah pull that and then I just need to switch out my Urban Decay all-nighter I was on this kick where I like almost walked out without setting my makeup this week I don't know I was everywhere do you guys do that so I want to put this one back and I'm going to pull Revlon photo ready prep set refresh this is a really good drugstore setting powder setting powder setting spray and the moisturizer I've been using just because it's really cold here in Kentucky the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion I can only get away with this in the winter time because I am combination oily so we're gonna use this while we can and that's all for this bronzer highlight contour drawer last week for contour well, for setting my face, setting my under eye, I used the Kat Von D. And I'm going to keep this one in, but I am going to use this as contour. I'm going to stay, be staying with my grandma and help her with Thanksgiving dinner. So 
I don't know. I just always like using this as my contour since I always have it anyway to set my under eyes with that and my lids with that. So we're going to keep her in and use her for contour, not just setting the under eye area. So with that being said, I'm going to put up my Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I really do love this. I use the crap out of this shade. I even set my lids with that one. And I think I even used this as a highlight one time. So this was a TJ Maxx find that was completely worth it. I'm going to put this one back. And I'm going to grab this one back here. So due to traveling, I'm going to... You're all sick of me saying due to traveling. But I'm going to pull the MAC Jeremy Scott Cheeky Volume 1 Mixtape. And I'm going to use that bronzer, that highlight, and that blush. This highlight, let me see if I can get you a swatch. I can never get it to hit right on camera. Can you see that? This, also TJ Maxx fine. And it's amazing. I need to put up a lot of products. So i got to put up this Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This is one of my favorites. I need to put up the Tarte Feisty Blush. This might be my favorite of the year. And I also need to put up the Too Faced Sun Bunny, which is giving my Too Faced Sweetheart bronzer a run for its money. And that's all for this This is my Everything Eyes. It is in an eyeshadow palette. So I need to put up my probably favorite um, combo for mascara, the Dior Primer, and the Smashbox Super Fan. And I'm just going to pull this one that I know is in rotation. This is the Laura Geller Lash Bross, and it works well without a primer. So I'm going to use that one. And I think that I'm going to keep in this. Let me pull the palette and see if it would be useful because I did not use it at all. What do y'all think? Maybe with the mattes. I'm going to pull it. I'm really going to try to use it. I need to. It's in the 6 by Santa project pan. And I need to use it anyway because, like, I don't want it to dry out. And then I'm going to switch out this Sex Kitten felt tip liner for my... Oh, where'd she go? Um, Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. Just a black felt tip liner. And I need to put in this Too Faced Brow Envy. You guys know I love that. And just trade it out for the good old fluffy brow, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I think I do want to pull a single. I might regret this. But, I mean, like, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Let's do Kitten Karma. Am I going to do two and just be that extra? No, let's not do that. So I'm going to pull this single, this Stila and Kitten Karma. Yeah, I think she'd work well with some of those mats. So, yeah, I'm going to pull this one. Get some use out of that before they dry out. And, oh, I need to keep in, still not going strong, but still going, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And that's all for okay. this. Okay. So, first, we finished it. Like, there's a little tiny bit of product in there. Um, I might use this a couple more times, but I have a lip balm in the car that I'll show you guys next week that I'm going to be using. But I'm not going to put that in the empties until probably midweek. So, next week you won't see that is what I'm trying to say. And so, I have a confession to make. I didn't use any of my lippies that I pulled except for the Jeffree Star and Mannequin, but let me explain. If you guys own Jeffree Star and Mannequin, you completely understand why when that gets pulled back into your life, you can't put it down. Am I right? So with that being said, I think I do want to keep in this Lime Crime Salem because I did say that I wanted to give her another chance. So let's give her another chance. I don't feel like I need to keep in this Jeffree Star and Fudge Pop because I do get a lot of use out of that one. I feel like I need to pull one, one. Oh no, I only got that one. I need to pull in two. <laughs> we are not just gonna have that lime crime. Okay, so let's pull a, maybe celebrity skin. I know I'm gonna pull in just a gloss. Um, it's always good to have just a gloss and because that has some really cool shimmers I think th that would go really well with it. This is the 
ColourPop, the Villains Collection, and Puppies. You guys know I love that one. And then I'm thinking, like, there were some more pinky shades. Oh, no, I have brown sugar. Hmm. I think I want to give something for brown sugar to, you know, be a topper on if it needs to be. So, yeah, let's go ahead. I don't know why I'm saying yeah. Like, I know for 100% fact that this is the one that I want to pull because I don't believe that that's the case. Let me see. Here's a Kat Von D one, and I don't know the name of the shade because a pen exploded on it. I think this is more... I'm glad I did that. <laughs> like I said, the pen exploded on it, as you can see, but I'm using this Kat Von D color. It looks like that, and I'm probably going to top that brown sugar shade on top of it. And that's it. Let's look at all the items that we ah. filled out of this week, guys. Like, I'm looking at this pile, and it looks very light. I'm excited for that. I'm excited and scared for this Jeffree Star lippy. You know I love the base that I'm using, that foundation. I'm excited to maybe get that primer water done. And um, honestly, I'm not, the. I'm least excited about this palette because I knew it took a lot of work. Maybe I got a dud. Let me know in the comments below what you play, what palette are you going to use on Thanksgiving? Let me know that. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.